Okay, so this is the last type of factory. This is factory by grouping. Um, this is what you're going to do if you have four terms. Now, you still want to take yourself self through every step because you always, always, always have to ask yourself if there is a GCF. In this particular example, there is not because even though 2 would go into 12 and 2 and 30, 2 will not go into 5. And to be a GCF, it has to go into all of the terms inside of the polynomial. So this one does not have a GCF. It is not a binomial, so we can't do difference of squares or difference of cubes. And it is not a trinomial, so we cannot do a factor sum chart or bottoms up method. So we are going to factor this by grouping. That is the only way to factor something that has four terms. Now it's called factoring by grouping because the first thing you're going to do is group the first two terms and the last two. When you group the last two, go ahead and include that sign with the last set. So um, it doesn't matter as much on addition problems, but it will on subtraction problems, so we're just going to get in the habit of doing that. Now, once you've grouped them, I am going to view them as two separate binomials. So I'm going to look at just that 12xy plus 2x and factor out a GCF, because there is something in common between the two of those. It's a 2x, so I'm going to factor out 2x. And if I took a 2x out of this binomial, I would be left with 6y plus 1. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this binomial. I'm going to factor out a GCF between these two things. Now they're both positive, so it's going to be a positive. And they both can be divided evenly by 5, so that's your GCF. That would leave me 6y plus 1. Okay, well notice these two binomials are the same, 6y plus 1. They should be. If they are not, then either you have done something wrong when factoring out your GCF, or it's a non-factorable polynomial. So in this case, and in the case of everything we're going to do for today, they're all factorable. So if you get to this point and your binomials don't match, you need to check what you've done. Now, because they match, I'm going to do a little bit of substitution. I'm going to say that 6y plus 1 actually equals a fat w. So I'm going to make both of these big fat w's. Which means I could rewrite this problem, I'm going to do everything on the side, as 2xw plus 5w. That's 2x and now w plus 5w. Now the reason I do that is because it makes it a little easier to see that this binomial has a GCF. It has a GCF of w. Right here, both terms have a w. So I'm going to factor that w out, and that would give me 2x plus 5. But remember, we said up here that w isn't really w. It's 6y plus 1. So I can take this w out and put 6y plus 1 in its place, which is how I get my final answer. The w becomes 6y plus 1, and this is my 2x plus 5. All right, so let's try again on this example. I ask myself, is there a GCF? Remember, you always have to ask yourself that first. So I check all four of my terms. And there isn't anything that will go into all four. So that means there are four terms. It's not a binomial, so it can't be a difference of two squares or sum. Sum or difference of cubes. It's not a trinomial, so it can't work with factor sum chart. So I'm going to group and factor by grouping. Now, I disregard the second set, and I deal just with this first set of parentheses. I'm going to factor out a GCF of that. They happen to have a 2a in common. So I'm going to factor out 2a, and that leaves me 6b plus 1. Don't forget, if I divide 2a by 2a, there's still a plus 1 there. Now, both of these have a plus, so I'm looking at my second set of parentheses. Both of them are positive, so I'm going to factor out a positive, and they have a 5 in common. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. I see, I made, oh, this is a 6. I just realized it because I know that these two are supposed to be the same. Uh, when I factored out my 2, I should have made this a 3b. Okay, so now these two 
using binomials should be the same. I noticed that they weren't, and I realized I was the one who had made a mistake. So now I'm going to call 3b plus 1 w. So I have 2aw plus 5w. That makes it easy to recognize that w is a GCF. So if I factor out w, I'm left with 2a plus 5. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to replace w with 3b plus 1. So my final answer, this is 3b plus 1, 2a plus 5. Okay, so let's do um, all of the grouping ones on this assignment, 14 and 15. Um, on this assignment, are grouping as well. So let's look at 14 first. You ask yourself, is there a GCF? There are in the last three terms, but not in the first one. So we're going to skip right on to factoring by grouping. First set and second set. Factor out a GCF of A, and that would leave me B minus 9. In the second set, now, they're both, one's positive and one's negative, but since the lead coefficient of my binomial is positive, I'm just going to take out a, a positive 9, and that leaves me B minus 9. The B minus 9s, they are the same. So because they're the same, I can replace them with a W. So I have AW plus 9W. Which means if I factor out a w, that would be a plus 9. And now I can replace w with what it was, which was b minus 9. So my final answer is b minus 9, a plus 9. That's my final answer. All right, one more. Now, in this case, I have both x's and y's in a problem. And that's one thing that can happen is they could potentially be in the wrong order. If you will make sure that your algebraic expression is in the correct order algebraically. So if you are not aware of what that is, real quick, let me tell you. Um, descending exponents. So if you have a cubed, threes come before twos, which would come before singles. Um, so it's always descending exponents, and then your variables are always in the alpha are always in alphabetical order. So in this case, however, I have x's and y's, and this happens to have an x and a y. But you go alphabetical order, pairs before singles. So this x y goes first because it has an x in it, and it is a pair, whereas this one is a single. So this one is in the correct order, but you might encounter some that are not. I'm going to go ahead and group this and group this. Factor out a 4x. That would leave me y minus 2. Factor out a plus 7, and that leaves me y minus 2. These two things match, which means they are w. So I have 4xw plus 7w. Factoring out my w. 4x plus 7 is what will be left inside. Now remember, w isn't really w, but over here it was y minus 2. And that's it. That is how you factor by grouping.